Now, it seems like in this business and in this hip hop and this rap, uh, the neighborhood Crips have been quite successful. Um, right. Would you say that? They've right. pretty much. Everybody loved the neighborhood. They created a lane, and I think they've pretty much been on top for the, for the last decade or so. Yeah. Everybody loves neighborhoods, man. That's just what it is, man. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Everybody loves neighborhoods. Our style, our flavor, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. I don't know. Uh, so come sign up. Come sign up. You can try out for the team, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But some other, some other cars, some other sections feel like that they've been maybe pushed out. Uh, they, they can't create a lane. And, and well, the homies, we've been blackballed. The Fodies been blackballed. Oh. You know what I'm saying? We not in the industry. Like like everybody else is, we we scratching the surface right now. You know what I'm saying? We got different homies doing different shit and all that because, you know, we being blackballed. You know, the forties, y'all know we the sickest olds out here, nigga. They know, nigga, we like barbarians for real. You know what I'm saying? So we being blackballed. We ain't in the industry like that. Like I said, we got homies just scratching the door. You know what I'm saying? That's why every time I'm making videos, I'm always promoting my homies, saying my homies' names and all that. So so my homies, that's, that's, that goes back to what I was saying earlier. I want my hood to be up. You know what I'm saying? I don't just want to be up by myself. You know what I'm saying? Because then I mean I got to take care of all you niggas. You know what I'm saying? I need all you niggas to bring y'all talent. Whatever you got to do. Pick up a broom. Pick up a camera. Nigga, nigga do something, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, so we can... Build this, build this, uh, 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 this money train to get it going. You know what I'm saying? I might not be here to see it get to where it need to be. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm, I'm putting the foundation down right now. You know what I'm saying? Well, you could just say, in, in, you know, in the last decade, uh, you know, Nip being in the neighborhood, very successful. Crip Mac, he's in the neighborhood. He's he's going viral everywhere. You know? Right. Um, J Stone, another neighborhood. He's, I think he's pr pretty much at the top of the game when it comes to. J Stone rapping. from where? From uh. From 60s? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. All them niggas is from there. Them niggas ain't from 40s. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, my homies, my homies got, my homies got talent. My homies is tight. My homies, you know what I'm saying? My homies, them niggas, man, I got homies, them niggas is chatty, man. If them niggas was, had the mic in front of them, like on BT and all that, man, them niggas that had that shit rocking. Well, Crip Matt, he's from 5'5". He ain't from 40s, though. I know. You know what I'm saying? He's from 5'5". Five five. He was supposed to be from 40s, but he ain't. He's from 5'5". Five five. You know what I'm saying? It's, he got that Hoover killer on his head because of my homie, Tiny Hardhead. You know what I'm saying? Not his homie from 5'5", five five, somebody from 60, Tiny Hardhead from Westside Foley's. You feel me? So that's what that's about. You know what I'm saying? That's my homie. Like, a lot of niggas in the industry, they still are lingo. You know what I'm saying? They still are lingo. Uh, RJ, nigga, YG, you put my name in your, in your song, In the Hood, nigga, and I still need my money for that, nigga, for saying my name in your song, nigga, on Hood. But... They still are lingo, and we don't get no type of no type of residuals for that. You know, they don't be like, oh yeah, the forties or whatever, whatever. They still are lingo. All them niggas is. Now, do you think it's a black ball, or do you think that there's pressure on? Let's say, for example, Nipsey makes it. He got at least ten homies just from his block that want to get on. So how does he look if he goes puts on someone from the fifties, someone from the forties? Or just another day, he's gotta look out for the guys on his block because then he'll get. No, I'm not. I'm not saying blackball like that. I'm saying blackball as far as the industry. You know what I'm saying? Because we can have all the talent right here, but you, the older homie or somebody that know these niggas in the industry, you know what I'm saying? You can get us there. You feel me? Fuck if I'm hard and I'm rapping and all that. You, you out there already mingling. You know what I'm saying? And by by you not being from my section. You know what I'm saying? That shit is not gonna affect me what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna you gonna you gonna funnel out a dude like what what they did. Like how you know what I'm saying, like how his homies ended up getting on. You know, he's saying his homies ain't like that's how them niggas got all that shit to go and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas ain't niggas ain't you know what I'm saying, bring the homies in or Alright, who's the hottest rapper out the forties right now? Uh the hottest rapper out the forties? No lie. No lie, the hottest rapper. I would say uh, Baby Runner. All right, so Baby Runner, AD, and Super Low, and No Sense, which is H Crown Brother. Okay, Baby Runner, No Sense, Super Low, Super Low, and No Sense. I know all these guys actually. Exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Okay, so here's the thing. Them niggas is talented, man. They playing. There ain't no reason why one of these guys shouldn't be on a song with J O Felony from San Diego Foes. Yeah, but J O Felony though. He, he, uh, how can I say it? I don't think he was mature in handling his business in the industry. 
Meaning, he's somebody that's solidified, already stamped and certified in the industry, having hit songs, knowing people and all that, and he's really from the streets. So whatever happened in the industry with him and all that to where he wasn't, he should, I think he should have, I felt like he should have put on his, his management hat, his A&R hat. Like, you from Foley's, nigga, you, your homies from San Diego Foley's, and you out here fucking with the homies, nigga, your juice card, knowing niggas, that's how we was supposed to get in. But for whatever reason, niggas do whatever they did. It worked out however it worked out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The homie's just kicking the door down right now. And my homie Blue knows, my bad. The homie Blue knows too. He from a whole nother state. But we got a few homies just doing their shit, man. But Baby Runner, Super Low, AD and No Sense, guaranteed easy call right now. AD's the only one I don't know out of that, out of that group. Tiny AD, the homie X4, yeah. You always see him with Baby Runner. He, he be on the pictures with him. He the yellow nigga, a little skinny yellow nigga and shit. You know what I'm saying? No, I think that um, I'm gonna reach out to Jo Felony and say, "Hey, put one of these dudes on your next track." You know. Well, he 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 know Baby Runner. He fuck with Baby Runner. He know Baby Runner. They know Baby Runner good. Jo Felony know the homies. This nigga done been in the hood. He done came to the hood day and all that on Forty Crib. Cause know the homies. But for whatever reason, you know, like I said, it's a business. I don't know that business part. So who 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 knows how everything's set up, how it is. But all I know is. My homies from the hood, them niggas got some slapping ass songs, and I ain't talking about just some bullshit, shoot them up, bang, bang. Them niggas got some good shit. And the homie, uh, Tiny Cisco, but he going by Spody James on uh, Instagram. That nigga hard. He been hard. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But this our year right here. I'm saying it right here. This is the first time you heard it. 2023, nothing but number 23 is the whole year, nigga. Utilizing they talent like I've been telling them for years. You know what I'm saying? When we used to be hanging out in the hood in the trenches, I'm like, nigga, you need to be rapping. You need to be doing this. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know you niggas got talent. You know what I'm saying? I'm a homie like that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm pushing you, nigga. Go do your shit. Quit worrying about these niggas, man. You got talent. Go, go exercise your talent and take care of your family and your kids, man. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when you're doing anything successful, whether you're working, stacking your money, you hustling, stacking your money, robbing, grinding your money, you got females giving you money, whatever you're doing, if you're doing anything that's going to elevate yourself or you're even looking like you're doing better than the next person, somebody's going to be mad. You know what I'm saying? They're going to feel like they, like, they, like, they own, like, they, like they owe some of that money that you've been out there hustling for. So self-preservation is a must, man. You know what I'm saying? Get your money focused on yourself, like I said. It's 24 hours in a day. If you spending an hour thinking about me, then you wasting your time.